High cholesterol can put you at risk for heart disease, the leading cause of death here in the U.S., but it's not just what you eat that can lead to it. You can even inherit it, which is exactly what happened to Catherine. When I was 15, my doctor discovered that my LDL, or bad cholesterol, was 385. Normal for me would be about 100. I had evidently inherited high cholesterol. It's called familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH. At the age of 38, I had a heart attack. And it wasn't until then that I clearly understood how dangerous familial hypercholesterolemia was. That it wasn't only my health that was at risk, but it was the health of my children. Catherine joins us today, also here to talk about high cholesterol and its risks is Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. Welcome. Thank you. Always great to be here. Always great. And, and Catherine, I, I want to lead to you to start. You've been through a lot with this, but what advice would you give to someone who has high cholesterol or particularly FH like you have? Well, it's very important if you have a strong family history of high cholesterol or heart disease to be tested. Early diagnosis is just key. And Catherine, I know that you do have two beautiful children now. Did either of them inherit FH? My eldest did inherit FH from me. By the time she was just two years old, her LDL cholesterol was 220. But we are so hopeful because she was diagnosed early and she's getting proactive treatment that she'll never have to experience a heart attack the way I did. And you know, beyond FH, there are millions of people who have cholesterol that is high enough to put them at serious risk for developing heart disease and stroke. It's estimated that this year, nearly a million Americans will have a coronary event. I just want to remind everyone, cholesterol, it's a waxy, fat-like substance. Our body needs some cholesterol to build healthy cells. The good kind is called HDL. That actually helps pick up excess cholesterol, takes it back to the liver. That's a good thing. Now, bad cholesterol, we call that LDL. It builds up in the walls of your arteries, making them harder, can make them narrower. It can, of course, block the path of blood flow that can lead to heart disease, heart attacks, and stroke. Never a good thing. High cholesterol, no matter the cause, doesn't usually have symptoms. So the only way that you can really know that you're at risk is to be tested, to know your number, and to know what that number means for you. Now, there are a number of risk factors that can lead to elevated cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. We've mentioned one, which is family history, but there are others like smoking, obesity, having a large waist circumference, mm -hmm. lack of exercise, diabetes, and of course, certain dietary factors that can contribute to an elevated cholesterol. And lowering your cholesterol, it of course may reduce your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. If you have high cholesterol levels, lifestyle changes like exercise, eating healthy, certainly knowing your family history, those can all help. Your doctor may also prescribe medications in addition to lifestyle changes. And Catherine actually started a foundation to help people with FH. Yes, the name of it is the FH Foundation, and it's our mission to raise awareness of this very underdiagnosed condition, familial hypercholesterolemia, in hopes of helping to save many lives. Isn't that wonderful? And, and awareness is key, and so is additional research. So we could use more information, more data, on what's the best treatment for people who have different family histories or lifestyles or demographics. So people should consider participating in clinical trials that look at cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. Doing so could help contribute to the science that would save millions of lives, and some of those lives might even be family members today or in generations to come. And of course, for more information, people can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. Frida, thank you so much for that. And of course, you can also visit thedoctorstv.com. Catherine, thanks for joining us. Consult your doctor if you have any questions about your health. We'll be right back.